Hello, my dear Virgo. This is a love reading for you where the person most on your mind will have their true thoughts and feelings revealed by me, Queen of Cups Tarot. We will also look into what they would tell you if they had the respect to tell you the truth made with my deck, the Brutally Honest Oracle cards. And I'm reading in the or order of the signs that show the channel most appreciation in March by liking, commenting, subscribing, becoming members, donating, and watching the ads. So thank you for all the love, Virgo. As an extended member to my channel, you can get these readings ahead of time and with no ads. And news is that I'm now doing spiritual growth readings for all the members to my channel and personal readings for the full members. Subscribe and then check this out through the join button or follow the link in the description box to learn more. This reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign and Venus, Vedic or Tropical. And for Virgo, this will be a reading about what the person most on your mind are feeling for you and where their thoughts are at when it comes to you. It can often be a conflict between head and heart and this will be revealed here together with the most likely action they will take when it comes to you and your relationship. I will also reveal what they would tell you if they dared to tell the truth to your face. For a cross watcher, this reading will most likely be about where the Virgo person's thoughts and feelings are at. The reading can go both ways. The drama is the same, but it can be different castings to the different roles by the universe. And I usually read for the empath's side of the story. Also remember that the other person holds your shadow that you mirror out to the world so you can be able to see it. In the end, you need to use your own intuition and recognition to determine who is who in this general reading for you. And I will use the Anima Mundi Tarot for the readings part and I will start shuffling your cards. So when I open your deck here, I see judgment together with uh, page of wands so this is a person that wants to take a risk but they don't know if it's worth it or not okay so i call the divine with love and light and here we have the eight of coins together with the page of wands so i think the risk is to uh, try to work something out with you with the eight of pentacles they want to see um, maybe if you can handle the truth um, with the judgment that we saw previously and if they would tell you the truth would that would you be able to cooperate around uh, the work that is necessary to do to uh, maybe improve your situation or your relationship uh, so I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world and here we have seven of coins together with eight of coins so here comes in a little bit of procrastination that's the person is uh, uh, is weighing this back and forth judgment it's uh, often about making choices big life choices and um, this one person is procrastinating because uh, I feel like they haven't been very successful with working on whatever issue it is that they want to work on they haven't been successful with doing it before so they feel stuck in a rut like they are doomed to make the same mistake over and over and over again but there's a little hope they feel if they could share maybe their burden with you and um, uh, you could um, maybe get another view on this what it is or uh, maybe if they shared how they feel about uh, your relationship with you, uh, you could have more understanding for their situation as well. But there's something necessarily to work needs to be worked on. It's something that has repeated endlessly, endlessly. And um, it's kind of the situations where the divine says, no, this is not good enough. You need to do it again. And then, no, this is not good enough. You need to do it again. And no, <laughs> you see, get my point. Never on the ending story, kind of, because and, and maybe this person wants your judgment to see what needs to be done about this situation. It can be like a personality trait that they have that they don't like or um, some big hidden secret that they have that I haven't told a soul. Or it can be a trauma or it can be um, something with the dynamic between you, how um, certain conflict happens or things are going wrong. That happens again and again and again. And, and they want 
uh, probably you to join forces to fix the issue but they are uh, they don't know if they should come clean or not uh, two of swords with this eight of cups <laughs> okay so it's a tie to the judgment card and making uh, choices but here might be not making choices and keeping their mouth shut for uh, sake of um, um, not having a conflict or not uh, maybe you know putting themselves out there uh, telling you their secret and then they don't know what you are going to do uh, so I feel there's something else with this uh, two of swords so that's why I'm kind of trying to think at the same time but maybe we should take an oracle card to see what's the clarification for the two of wands two of swords sorry I played you okay um, so I, I think they have done something in the past where they have fooled you played you uh, they didn't tell you the truth they did something or they have like an awful secret that they re they haven't told you something that they are scared uh, to tell you but they have a little bit hope that if you if they come clean now uh, maybe you would understand why they acted like they did or why they did what what they did um, I think there's a little bit self-hatred involved in this I haven't really seen any signs with the cards I'm just feeling it when I'm holding this I played you okay so we'll see where it goes six elements earth wind fire water spirit and ether too that's playing and three of wands the star card I think they they are ready to become more serious but they don't know what that will bring them if their survival skill is to manipulate play and make schemes and plans and things like this they don't know how it is to be honest and truthful so they know what the old thing brought them but they don't know if, what this new thing will bring them coming clean you know telling what's really going on in their soul or uh, maybe they feel their soul is is really really black okay uh, so and the two of coins it's tied to the judgment and the two of swords should I shouldn't I should I shouldn't I and um, I think this is something that has been going on for a very long time this should I shouldn't I and that's a big other part of the reason why they lied played because they couldn't be honest um, wheel of fortune uh, ace of wands 10 plus uh, 10 1 plus 0 1 so ace of wands and wheel of fortune is tied to each other um, they have an inspiration to fix this karma uh, they feel like it's important uh, 10 of wands but it's very difficult and it has something to do with their own self dignity um, I think they have been hurt and like really badly hurt they might even have like a narcissistic injury with the I played you thingy um, but ace of pentacles is like they want to be a better person and uh, they became this person because of how they were treated because the page of source is a child uh, so it's a person it's a child that uh, usually they don't have um, people backing them up and uh, like it's a person that needs to grow up uh, really fast because uh, they don't have real grown-ups around them or people um, like acting in their best interest and so they become very suspicious very um, distrusting and this starts with this place and schemes <laughs> but it's also an element of uh, not being able to reveal yourself you can't speak your truth because that will have consequences and the page of swords is a rebellious card so it's about turning that to uh, speak the truth no matter if your voice shakes and your teeth clatter and your knees uh, like tick, 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 tick. so it doesn't matter you need to speak the truth anyway um, it's like when uh, Jesus drew out the merchandisers from his father's uh, temple so that is like a soul uh, driving out all the voices from the past uh, so voices from parents teachers uh, from their own uh, like taking in more of themselves and cleaning out uh, all the other people's voices so tr being more able to hear themselves and their own soul uh, justice eight of swords so I think they are in this process but it's really really hard and I actually think that they kind of want you on their side 
uh, through this. Uh, so that's why they are thinking of maybe they, maybe they could uh, reveal their secret to you. Their um, <laughs> yes, hangman. It just shows this uh, this charm and the difficulty that this person has to uh, to move on. So they are like they would want to reveal this to you, like how heavy everything has been for them and why they are stuck and why they have acted in certain ways. Uh, but they probably don't know if that's a good idea. It's something that they seldom do. Um, like take confidence in another person or trust another person. Uh, so I'm not sure this is a good thing because people like this is usually really, really traumatized. And um, this pattern will repeat itself also in the future. But there's a reason for you having them on their mind, your mind. Maybe this is um, um, your also what you need to learn like in this department okay so i'll just tune in to the person most on your mind and uh, uh, what their their thoughts are when it comes to you their feelings and their most likely action um, the most likely action they will take when it comes to you and your relationship So this is the most likely action they will take when it comes to you and your relationship. This is their feelings towards you and on the fourth level. So we have the fool here, uh, much related to the page of uh, wands, uh, taking the leap of faith uh, and coming with a, a real good intention and a, a pure heart, pure intentions. But it's still the fox, you know, foxes are... <laughs> we say you have this person has a fox behind their ear. I don't know if you say it in English in English culture, but in Swedish culture, we say a person has a fox behind their ear when when they are like a person that could um, they're a little bit smart, a little bit too clever, um, might um, um, like fool other people or manipulate other people or um, uh, or even be like a little bit of a rascal. If it's a kid uh, doing a lot of uh, shenanigans, okay. <laughs> so, the fool. Um, <clears throat> sorry, and the two of swords here with the eight of wands, eight of cups, and the devil. Okay, so here comes in the self hatred part. Um, um, no, it's uh, three of swords. Um, something that was very dear to their heart uh, caused them a lot of heartbreak and make them feel very insignificant and not worthy of love and they felt like it was something wrong with them uh, so they tried to leave their emotions behind kind of put a lid on it and forget about the whole thing and then become maybe the player or the fox uh, it's a good word in swedish it's the luri fax but uh, i don't know the world word in english but luri fax it's almost it's like um uh, fox is almost like fox in English, so someone a tricky fox maybe. <laughs> so, uh, so this is what they became because of this. Okay, and they know it, but they want to do better. So the fool is um, fox with an open heart, and uh, this is uh, their feelings. And we have judgment, so they feel very serious about this. Father wants. Now oh, this is serious, serious business. Oh, um, they, it's life and death for this person coming to you with this message and, you know, digging it up from the deepest, darkest corner of earth and up to the surface, uh, taking up, maybe revealing their shadow to you. Uh, and they're afraid that this will lead to conflict or you hating them or uh, you finally realizing that they are the baddest person in the world when they tell you the truth and... So they expect conflict. Okay. Uh, and this is their most likely action that they will take when it comes to you and your relationship. We have the Queen of Cups here. So I think um, uh, they are a survivor. They can survive on their own. Uh, no problem. But um, I think they have kind of find a confident in you, like a person they could... A confide in a person that they could trust and um, so I can't see really the decision here I'm just seeing here they can take care of themselves all their own problems 
but then death comes ace of swords queen of cups so something has happened to them i guess like a change wants to happen um we also saw the two of coins before it's uh, in tot tarot it called the change card um so it's very closely related and it's a snake in an eight uh so some change has happened that maybe wants them to change their mind uh about trusting you and opening up to you maybe they see some kind of hope with you so this is what's on their mind we have the ace of wands and the wheel of fortune the cards that came uh, when i shuffled or fell out and um, so they have a very strong spiritual quest here on earth and it's to actually heal this karma they might have gone down in a really thick dense density um, family line with a um, heavy ancestral karma uh, to lighten it up and fix it so even if you feel like they are the prince or princess of darkness uh, they might actually be a soul of light that just have gone down in really dense energies and maybe being born in families with uh, maybe a narcissist narcissistic parent for example uh, is what I'm feeling so uh, they have come here to fix this karma not only for themselves but also for the ancestral line of this family and also maybe for you um, it's not heroic it's just a common for a soul <laughs> to feel this kind of longing uh, but m many people suffocate it and just play the game of life and try to get as much benefit as possible before they go and they forget about their their more divine plan but this person seems to remember there's a lot of stars here they remember they have they have got this knowledge it's not that they are sure it's more that they as you feel like this is probably it this is probably the sign i need to go with this is probably what the divine wants and um, so this person feels the same thing here and then we have an ace of cups so uh, they feel or they think that the love that's between you two must be a sign of something it must be uh, this uh, ace of cups must be um, uh, the reason to why they are here or that the love for you is like um, um, I'm feeling like someone uh, uh, putting on the porch light so and you have put out the porch light like turn on the porch light so they could uh, see it uh, so they feel like your love is like a beacon in the dark it's very hard to explain I'm just seeing a lot of fun images like a person uh, trying to determine if they can trust this person or not and then you leave the porch light on and they know you can trust them i don't know what that means but um, maybe you have enlightened them in some way uh, yeah here we have the sun uh, so the sun is the highest card for love in the major arcana card and it shows also self-love and becoming healed and uh, therefore holy and kind of with this halo around your head because your soul has come down in your body so this really shows that this person is on a um, on a very highly spiritual road towards the spiritual awakening and you know they're following divine guidance and they're seeing you as a part of that divine guidance and they're sure that your love matters that it means something um, and then we have the hangman so it comes in a little bit fear here and they used to you know put out uh, put up uh, like nets <laughs> to catch other people but to reveal themselves and not be the spider but actually come here with this white rose it's a uh, it's a difficult to change to make for this person uh, because um, why people act in certain ways it's because they have learned certain survival skills they have learned what works uh, so if you are uh, raised by wolves you will become a wolf yourself and you will uh, act like a predator in many situations and i think this is what this person has done their whole life but they have seen your light and the light in themselves and um, they know that the divine wants them to take this leap of faith but it's very scary to change you know what you are and what you obtained with that and you don't know what you're going to get and it might be that being vulnerable and and showing this ace of cups and this white rose might be the thing that they have feared the most in in their whole life so 
um, you might think this is easy. <laughs> this is maybe your survival skill is to be totally honest, to avoid maybe misunderstandings and um, to not get unnecessarily, uh, you know, hiccups on the road and blockages. Maybe you hate blockages. So for you, it's the other way around, maybe. But for this person, uh, the blockages are there for a reason <laughs> to keep them safe and you know, so they can watch you from afar. And uh, <laughs> I'm seeing now, I'm seeing so many interesting things with this reading. I'm seeing a person on a cliff, like sitting on a horse there, and they have done some kind of trap or blockage on the road. So uh, travelers can't get by uh, without them having control. So I think this has some, it's a long karmic thing. A lot of different things have happened. And um, maybe this family line have become like very clever or well, this person, their soul has lived lives where they have been very clever and not maybe uh, very good, like a nice person, but um, maybe even a criminal in many cases, um, like in the olden days or oh, outlawed. <laughs> okay, so they are an outlaw. Uh, and this is um, their feelings and we have an eight of swords, so it's kind of a frozen heart they don't believe they can be loved uh, so now I'm, I'm hearing a song why can't you believe you can be loved loved why can't you believe it's one, one of my favorite songs when i was young so i should know i think it, uh, it's definitely skid row uh, maybe wasted time because when I'm doing these readings, my, my awakened mind goes out the window. So I have little access to my brain capacity. Uh, but why can't you believe you can be loved? I think it's this song. Okay, so this is it. Eight of Swords. So um, this with being raised by wolves. Um, I love wolves, okay. So um, I um, don't want a single wolf to be <laughs> mistreated or shot or anything like that. It's just symbolism, okay, like Little Red Riding Hood and the wolf. And in this case, this child in this family was the Little Red Riding Hood, uh, so surrounded by wolves. So the Little Red Riding Hood had to become a wolf uh, to survive here in a harsh world, um, maybe in an older day <laughs> where they were outlawed or in the family of a more modern age. Uh, still the same kind of feeling, not feeling like you can reveal yourself and, you know, be a sweetheart uh, because that will make you end up being uh, like food for wolves. <laughs> okay, so their heart is very closed. It's like living in a little box. And then we have the two of wands. So um, again, closed, but all the stars here, they know where they should try to reach. Uh, they just hesitate to reach there. Two of Wands, we have had the Two of Swords, Two of Coins, uh, 20, Judgment, we saw High Priestess, number 2, 11, Justice, number 2. Uh, so it's all about should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I, what's right, what's wrong, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So I think you have been a little bit of a guiding light for this person. You'll come with something totally new that they haven't seen before. And uh, they want to believe in this, they want to have hope in this. Uh, but like their survival skill says no, and their fear says no, don't you dare go outside the box, it's scary, you're going to be killed. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're holding back, there's a lot of like tied ropes around their heart here. And then we have the magician, oh, not good, <laughs> okay, because magician is a wonderful card. Uh, when it's used uh, for good purposes. It's like a white witch or a black witch. You can use it for different purposes, the magic. Um, you can use it to do good or to do uh, bad. It comes underneath the Ace of Cups, which lightening it up. But it also comes with this um, the hangman um, spider and I played you. Uh, so I'm getting a little bit suspicious with this card. Uh, this person wants to come on top. Uh, they want to have control probably over their little heart here and over you and over all the circumstances, also 10 years or 20 years ahead of time. So their little brain is calculating all these possible outcomes like this. And they're trying to do something that's going to make them survive because that's uh, how scared they are. They are living on, on an edge of danger is what I'm feeling. So they're probably not as trusting. Maybe you are a little bit more a trusting person because you trust your own capacity and maybe you have had a little bit better experience with people. So um, you're more 
trusting and also your survival skill is to be trusting um, sometimes that can make you a codependent to a person like this that's not trusting at all and um, they know what they need to survive and they go and grab it okay and then one of those things might be you we'll see five of swords mm. um, I want to move on and <laughs> look more at these cards this four of swords okay so um, I think they are scared of hurting you that this uh, like predator wolf magician player inside of them uh, would do uh, like a number on you in some way. Uh, so they want to save you, but by staying away from you. But in the same time, you are their hope and they, what they think uh, would uh, maybe help them through and find another way. Uh, but um, it's almost like this scene from... Um, like any movie where we have a love affair, starting with, a, like, particularly the guy usually uh, being like a jerk and uh, trying to scare off the, uh, the lady by uh, acting like rude and reckless and, and uh, cold and callous uh, because they think that they are protecting uh, that person from themselves. Um, so... Um, I'm hearing Darcy. I think there's a movie. Uh, I know I have I have read a book about Mr. Darcy, but I don't remember the title just now. But um, it's that like the person that's a jerk, but turns out to be, have a golden heart. Uh, so that kind of um, layout for this drama, I would presume. Okay. Uh, Mr. Darcy. Okay, so uh, this is the most likely action and we have a two of coins. So phew, I don't know how to act. Uh, I don't know what to do. Um, I, I know my game. I, I know nothing else. And here we have a nine of cups. Mm, it's kind of good, uh, I think, at least for this person. Uh, they are being able to, uh, to live their life uh, in some kind of harmony, at least, with the nine of cups card being able to take care of uh, their own emotions when they are alone i might add because nine is connected to the hermit so um lonely fish in the sea here and this a little bit of cadaver it's almost like in the bottom of a fish tank so um as long as they take care of themselves they don't risk getting hurt uh, but if they would throw themselves over the cliff for you, um, showing this pure and honesty, uh, that could either, it can end in two ways, they think, either with them becoming like the prey or you becoming the prey, either or, they don't know. So safest to stay on your own. And here we have the eight of coins. So this longing to do something, because the magician is also action, do something, create your life. And um, sometimes we create it selfishly. We try to obtain a lot of money or things like this. But sometimes we just follow divine guidance and, uh, and try to reveal the path before us so we can move forward out of the karma, Wheel of Fortune 8. 8 is the eternity symbol, eternity symbol um, that keeps us stuck in a rut until we find the key, the little solution. Um, we have the symbol there as well to get out of the rut and do something new. And this is what they are invited to do here, to do something new. But they are so scared that this will happen. Uh, but in the same time, they have this feeling of uh, uh, wanting to do something good, something positive, uh, make a change, a positive change. Um, they have hope, but maybe their fear is um, more intense than their hope at this point. Uh, and then we have the chariot here. Hmm. <laughs> this person is all over the place. Well, uh, I think they, there's a little chance that they might reach out for you, to you. But uh, like the next second they will withdraw again. So you just know it. that. So you know what this person is battling with right now. And um, that they are like stuck uh, between their old ways of dealing with things. And the new way that they hope for but this is not a quick fix this person will probably come here with a lot of confidence magician here as well 
and say to you that I know the solution to our problem. And uh, in the next stage, uh, and because, for example, let's say that this person has been a little bit elusive um, in your relationship and uh, they have been elusive because they don't want to hurt you and they don't want to hurt themselves. And also they are players, so we don't know what they did. Um, but here with the four of swords, four of cups, it shows they are not able to to take themselves out from that rut and make a change. They are stuck in the rut because they are so stuck in this is the emperor energy protecting themselves, protecting their empire, what they have obtained, their security, their body. And uh, so they are very much in survival mood but we can see things are growing with this person this beautiful aces and and the possibilities here the their good intentions that they have their souls awakening so things are happening but on the surface level no not so much is happening so i'll see what they would want to say to you i have a lot of insecurities um i can tell okay and I need you in my life so that's probably why they come here because they feel such a love for you it seems like you have solutions to everything you seem so free uh, but in the yet they are too scared to really open up to you at this point point. Uh, I'm scared of you I wanted to aim for something better for myself uh, I think they want to aim for something better for themselves they don't want to live raised by wolves uh, they want to I think they want to be raised by you. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm feeling. It's like they want to come and put their head in your lap and say, please, um, how can I change this? How can, how can this be different? So, um, we have all the time in the world. <laughs> you probably don't feel like that. Okay, so I'll see what you would want to say to this person. I will come back for you. Uh, so that's how you feel. Even if you maybe gave up on this person, um, you feel like you would want to reconcile at some point. Uh, maybe not now, but uh, this is um, maybe deeply rooted in you, this feeling, and you can't shake it off. Uh, I don't feel good enough. Um, well, I think you have um, a little bit the same wound. You just found different ways of dealing with it. Maybe you became uh, the one taking care of all the wolves. So they didn't, didn't eat you while the other person needed to become the wolf. So it's different ways how we try to solve things. But both of you haven't really felt loved. And I think this person, how they have behaved in your relationship probably didn't, um, you know, make you feel any better about yourself. A hit and run. This is how you think that this person has acted and I agree with you they agree with you and um, we have all the time in the world we are a bad match so uh, for you you probably feel that this is not a good time to be together because um, maybe you can't handle the kind of personality type that they have or their issues and maybe you feel like it would be better if you could uh, you know be together in the next life because uh, uh, you want to be loved, you want to be cherished, and this person only knows how to be the the predator, the the wolf, and um, um, you don't want to get hurt like that. So, um, I think you are postponing this as well, <laughs> as well as this person is postponing it. Neither of you wants to reconcile really at this point. I think this person really wants to, you know, fix this relationship. Uh, to the better uh, in any kind of way that it's possible but they won't be able to because their survival scale is so strong they will just do the same thing again children yeah i'm thinking both of you have childhood issues it might be that you need to cooperate because of children but definitely both of you are acting like uh, traumatized children and then you come together with each other and neither of you can really be the grown-up for the other person. You shouldn't have to. Both of you need to become grown-up and then maybe we can see what will happen. And here we have give your relationship a chance. So this is what the divine thinks is going to happen. That eventually, you know, we have all the time in the world. Eventually you will come back for them and 
and uh, you will do the work but it's wings on these persons so maybe it will happen in heaven i don't know because we don't have all the time in the world in this incarnation we have all the time in the world like on an eternity perspective but maybe that reconciliation will happen in another dimension not here somewhere where we have wings so it's a possibility i'm not saying that it's like that but this seems to take a lot of time like the hangman it's yeah <laughs> it's, you're trying too hard give it time um, and um, imagine all unwanted feelings uh, all thoughts dissolving into light creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life so i'm thinking this reading is here to make you understand the other person why they hurt you why they left you why they are acting in the way they do it's not here to um, reconcile you like immediately uh, <laughs> message for you i think of you this very moment your love fills me with light i love you so it's a message from this person uh, so uh, where were i so you don't have to like aim on reconciling at this point but hopefully this reading can give you some healing and understanding why certain things happen and why you can have this happiness together that pr both of you probably wanted uh, so it was never about uh, you really it's all about uh, this uh, other person and maybe this can be some closure for you so surrender at times we must surrender to all before something uh, new can enter our lives let go and all will work out so try to send love and light to this situation and uh, love and light to yourself and you know be grateful for the things you have in your life and count your blessings uh, to even amp up your happiness and your inner peace um, uh, take better care of yourself be a better, better parent to yourself and um, things will solve with time is what i'm feeling and uh, you will heal from this and you will may be able to move forward if you don't live in the same nightmare you take yourself out of the nightmare you don't have to relive it but if you stay living in the nightmare thinking why 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 and it shouldn't have been like this it should have been like this why couldn't this have happened instead of this uh, then you will just continue creating what you had but if you want to create something new you need to lift yourself up uh, by just enjoying your life right now and you know letting go of things that didn't work out rejection is god's protection and um, uh, fill your life with like make a list of things that you can do for yourself that's beautiful uh, give more time to yourself be more you know close to the ocean or you know buy a bicycle whatever that can you know take you out of your head and into your body into life and um, you can't control this person they can't control themselves uh, they want to be a better person for you but i don't see this happening and now you know why so um i would urge you to watch the reading what do they want to have happen between you two to get more more information about this situation you can also watch the previous reading uh, the through two <laughs> through thoughts and feelings uh, from previous month because um, it will probably um, um, it will resonate a little bit more because uh, it might be what have just happened or what is happening right now this sometimes a little bit more like a prediction jet planes in the night sky with you today if you can't get enough of my readings on YouTube, you can now become a member to my channel and get access to premium content videos. There are three different levels to choose from. You can become a supportive member and get personal and spiritual growth readings for the collective. Getting high in the sunrise with you. The second option is to become an extended member where you get access to the collective readings from the previous level and you will also be able to see all the channel's astrological tarot readings for all the signs ahead of time and ads free. Getting through all the bad times with you I wasn't missing a thing, no, I do 
And I wish that I could do it the third option is to become a full member where you get access to all the perks from the previous levels and on top of that you will get short personal readings from me every week. It is very similar to super chat readings but here you subscribe instead of paying for super chats. There is a lot of other perks that's available for all levels as membership loyalty badges, custom emojis and other special features. I'd come and get you. I can't forget you. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you all the time. I wish that I wish that if you subscribe to my channel, you will be able to see the join button where you can learn more about the membership. You can also follow the link in the description box to check this out. And if you are still not convinced that this is a good option for you, you can become a member just to support my channel and help me keep on doing readings for all the astrological signs. I hope you will join and we will have so much fun together. Thank you for watching this far. I'm sending you all my love and all my gratitude. <laughs>